Hello, everyone. Retro Robbie here, and you see what I got on the table. I'm taking the splurge, and I bought a whole box of quarters. So, yes, I am finally dipping in hard and seeing if I can get some quarter finds. So, you know what we're going to look for when we look for the quarters. We're going to look for the silver. We're going to look for the W quarters. We're going to look for the airs and varieties. And we got a nice box from the bank here i was able to get a hold of so let's open it up and let's see if it's circulated quarters or if it is just brand new quarters so here we go and man tape is on good there we go and let's see what we get here so kind of hard to tell that definitely circulated and man they're all showing heads here it's double heads day Oh, uh, they kind of look circulated. There's a eagle quarter, so that definitely circulated. So we got the rip into this box, and I will bring you in on the first find. All right, we are roll seven here, and we got our first find. So I brought you up on the screen for this one because we have a variety, and I'm going to explain it to you. So what we're looking at here is 2015, and as you know, 2015. Uh, is America the Beautiful. This is the Nebraska Homestead Quarter. So what you're going to be looking for on Homestead is there are a lot of airs and varieties in the Homestead. And the one area I'm going to show you is to look for in the Homestead. There's a lot of airs. As a matter of fact, there's like 140 some variations. But one of the variations are these windows here. You want to look out for some double dies in here. That's not the reason why I brought you in here. But I just want to point out that these 2015 Homestead quarters really got to look out for them because there are a lot of errors. And I'm going to show one error right now. Uh, one of the errors, or varieties if you want to call it that, is the what they call the snow... Uh, house so what that means is there's a die chip that comes right along here that gives it the effect that snow is on the roof of this house for the homestead house and here you can definitely see it it's it's right there it's not the most uh prominent die crack here but you can definitely see that there's a kind of little effect of a snow and just to give you a, a reference here i'm gonna bring up an actual quarter that has no issues and try to get it all in here as best as I can for you. I know it's a little difficult, especially when you're doing it live here. So, um, so the regular one here, as you can see, it's a clean cut. It's, it's, there's no dye variations or anything like that. It just looks like a normal roof. But if you look on this one up above here, you could see that snow uh, going in. When I looked at the loop, uh, it still shows the same effect. So this is actually a variety and uh, it has a little value to it. Yeah, it's 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 probably not worth that much, a couple bucks at most. Uh, but is it worth more than a quarter? Yes, do people collect these? Yes, they do. And this is a variety right here and it's called the snow uh variety and we have one right here so if i give you a little lesson you want to be looking out for that that has a little value there so there's a difference you can kind of see the snow right there as you can see it's pretty clean right there you can't see anything um most of these airs of varieties are in the philadelphias so look for the peas on the front of the quarter so what you're going to look for is the 2015 and of course it has had the P on it. And then when you turn it around, you're gonna look for the roof lines right here and see if you see some doubling. And I am 100% positive it's not the best uh, version of it. There's probably better versions than this one. This one looks like it was just starting the snow, if you wanna call it that. It just starts snowing on this house, so. But you can definitely see it right there it, it, this is the snow variety version, and I just want to point that out to you. Another major variety you want to look out for, it's called a leaky bucket. Uh, you'll see 
some die chips right here that almost connects the bottom of the base here. Of course, you don't see it here. I don't have one. And this quarter here doesn't have it. Just has some damage, it looks like, right there. That, that does nothing. Um, but you want to look for, like, some die chips right here. They call that the leaky bucket. But this one right here is definitely the snow version, and we will take that. That's worth more than a quarter. That is a find, and I want to point that out to you. And we'll keep on searching and bring on the next find. All right, we are on roll 19, and we got another find here, and I'm so happy. This is my first W. That was, like, the third quarter in on this roll, and... There it is. Get as close as I can to it. And there you can see the W right there. As you know, in 19 or 2019, 2020, they inserted West Point quarters into circulation. So that one is a W right there. Let's flip it around, see which one it is. And it is uh 2020. So very nice. Let me just bring that up on the board here quick a minute. It is the 2020 uh, Weir Farm. So from Connecticut, the America the Beautiful. That is a 2020 W. That is our first W that I found. And I found it in row number 19. So that's what you're looking for in 2019, 2020. You're looking for that W mint mark. So we got our first one. You know, they're worth, I think, about 20 bucks or so, if I recall. I'll have to look it up. I'll probably show you in the summary what it is. It's not the most, uh, it's been circulated, that's for sure. So, you know, that's why I do these, because these are out there. They're just out there in circulation, floating around. You know, it's definitely worth more than a quarter. It's, you know, not the most, the best shape in the world, but, you know, it's still not bad. There's a little... Uh, some marks there on the back, especially, but, um, you know, uh, whoops, that's why we collect these, is get those W's, so there it is, there is our first W find, doing my first quarter box, so I'm actually quite happy about that, so we got another find, we will keep on searching and bring you on the next find. All right, we're going to roll 23 here, and we got our first foreign coin, so I didn't even see it. I don't even search for them because they're hard. You don't see them as much in uh, quarters and dimes as you do nickels and pennies, but there is our first Canadian quarter. It is from 2010 with the older queen showing there, and there's the mint mark right there from the Royal Mint, so that means it is magnetic, so made out of steel. So nothing special. There's nothing, no extra value in that. It's just, it's just cool to find. So uh, there it is 2010 first foreign coin of the bunch. And we'll keep on searching and bring you on the next find. All right. We got the roll out there. So you know what that means. It is live at 25 where we open up the 25th roll live. So let's see what we get here. So far, you know, for quarters, it hasn't been so bad, you know found one variety which was this very nice uh snow roof uh lincoln quarter from 2015 and we got that very very nice w right there if we can get a focus oh there it is there is that w i found you know it's worth about 15 bucks i found a canadian quarter so hey we got a little of everything got some Mint and wow, that there's a couple new ones in there. So let's pull those out. Let's pull those first. You can definitely tell the new ones, man. They are so shiny. And yeah, that's another 2021. 2021s don't have anything much in there, but you never know. So here we go. So just on the surface, you probably won't see anything. You gotta kind of go through the quarters here. So we'll pull out the ones I think that we, uh, well, I know that, not think, I know that we need to look at. So the first one that we're going to pull aside there is a South Carolina. That is a 2000 right there. And we're going to be looking for an extra branch that is on there. It's a variety. And you, know, you always got to be careful. You got to look through all of these. And, you know, this is my first attempt at quarters, and so far, I think I've done pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to quick go through there. You know, whenever I see a 2019, 2020, always got to look for that W, so that, that was a D. 
and uh, oh, that's 96, 85. Uh, like I said, trying to go through these fast here. So let's just kind of quick go through here. Just see if we see anything out of the ordinary because I'm going to find it live for you guys. That is for sure. So I'm not seeing anything. So I will double check this uh, one for South Carolina. I'll go through the rest of them. If I find a uh, variety, I will loop you in. But it doesn't look like on the surface we see anything that's out of the ordinary. So we'll just keep on searching and bring out the next five. All right, you see the roll out there. It's roll number 50, so we always do 25 and 50 live. So overall, this is not a bad quarter hunt. I know you don't see much, but, you know, with quarters, it's uh, really hit and miss. You're only looking for a couple of good things. And we'll show it at the end of the stream, show you what I pulled out. And uh, you saw a couple here. Got a couple varieties. Got that W quarter. I pulled out some 76s, some... Sixes, some uh, higher end BUs, so we got a little bit of everything. Oops, that kind of fell out. Trying to make it all nice here. So let's see if we can find anything in here. Oh, uh, and I'll kind of tell you along the way what I'm looking for. Uh, I'll set them aside. So if we find anything, and again, you know, we're looking for those, uh, 19 to 2019 2020 quarters and see if there's a w on that that's 2018 one year off uh just kind of going through here uh that's 2017 oh uh, just kind of don't want to spend all day on it for you but there's a good example 2020 and that's a p so you know again you're looking for those w's uh more state coins i'm not really seeing anything you can pull out even so I think that's the way quarters are. I mean, that's a pretty decent. I'll tell you one thing. A lot of these have some decent state quarters that are uncirculated. I mean, I mean, here's an example. It is really shiny. Hardly any scratches. Uh, that is Texas. You know, it's 2004. So that's been hanging around for quite some time. Look at the luster on that. I'll set that one aside. I need to fill my albums up. So... You know, that's what we're looking for. So there is not another one. And I am just not seeing anything. Not even a pull to show you. So uh, 2021s. Uh, nope, that's a 2016. I don't even see hardly any 2021s. No. no. So I'll finish this up, as you know. And I'll bring in the summary and show you what little finds we got. So we'll be right back. All right, we are back with that quarter box roll. My very first quarter box hunt. So... I'm going to take it. I'm actually quite pleased on my first uh, my first uh, crack at it with the quarters. And we'll show you what we found right here. We're going to start out here with one Canadian. That was it. Just one. And we'll take it. You know, the, you don't find as many Canadian uh, dimes and quarters as you do nickels and pennies. But this one's a... Uh, 2010 it is with the older queen there so there she is all old queen form there so it's in pretty good shape for a 2010 so we will take that so that is our first one nothing special about that one up next i just thought for fun i'd count how many 76s i got the bicentennials um uh, i just like these i don't know why I don't know if I'm going to keep them or not, but I end up with 14 of them, which is actually, I, I thought it was quite well to find 14 1976s in a box of quarters, so we'll take that. Um, I also got a mess full of BUs. I got to go through my albums and see if they upgrade. If not, they go back in the ocean. So, I mean, there's just, actually, I was surprised how many shiny, nice ones that are barely circulated. Even the state ones there. Look at that Arkansas one from 2003, man. It looks like it just came out of an album. So, you know, they're always kind of fun to look at and sort them out. And so I kept a couple out. Probably kept about, looks like 20, 30 of them. Up next, we got not one, not two, not three, not four, not, but five of the snow uh the snow homestead of nebraska um like i said i'm gonna have maybe phone a friend in these um make sure to verify but everything from what i looked at 
They look like there's snow uh, on them, so it means there's a die right there. And I can bring it up to you guys to show you one more time. So, you know, I'll just pull one out at random here. So what you're looking for is this right here. You kind of see it. It's it's like a like a double die almost, but it's not. It's just it just didn't get cleaned very well and it makes the effect of snow. This is mostly on Philadelphia's. Um, there's not much value in these. They're about, but still two bucks a piece. So, you know, you know, for finding something a quarter that's worth two bucks, it's still not a bad deal. Again, there's another one right there you can see. And, um, you know, I'll just show you quickly here. You know, the reason why is this is one that, again, that does not have the snow and you can clearly see it's it's clean right there all the way through but when you look at this one you can see the little lumpy right there looks like there's a little snow mound right there so that's why we kept it out you know again they're selling for about two bucks a piece so that's not so bad and again there's another example right there you know right there is the same spot as the other one and I'll show the four. I might as well show all five because, you know, the video's not that long. This one's not as good, but you can kind of see it right there. It's not a scratch. It's just from the dye. Um, this one's not as good an example, but we'll still take it. And that last Nebraska homestead. Again, not the best example in the world either, but you can kind of see it right there. Uh, gives it that snow effect. So I found five of them. I'll keep them out. You know, maybe if I find enough of these, I'll just roll them up and, uh, you know, sell them as a roll. So that was that as well. So that's, that's the variations that we found. And again, the creme de la creme. And get this all focused in here. If it wants to cooperate. There we go. And zoom that in a little bit. It is, I did find one W quarter. And, you know, if you can't find silver, this will be the next best thing is to find W quarters. Again, they inserted these in 2019, 2020. They're very low mintage. Um, so maybe I'll show, maybe if I'll go back and show if there's a mintage on that, I'll show what it is. This is the, um, the Weiss Farm uh, from 2020 right there. You can see that. So it's it's not in bad shape. It looks like a little speck in there. I'll see if I can get rid of that or not. But um, it's been circulating, that's for sure. So it's been in a couple people's pockets, not realizing they had uh, about fifteen dollars worth. That's what they're going for, about fifteen and twenty bucks. I'm sure there's it's more prevalent out there, so it's not as valuable as it once was. So. Um, but still, it's a good find. You know, that's what we're looking for. If you can't find silver, it's it's cool to find the W's. It's cool to find the 76's. You know, it's I found some ears of rice. I hope I can find some more. But there really isn't that much to look for. So that makes it kind of hard. So that is it. Tell me your thoughts. You like this? You want me to do more quarters? They're kind of fun. You know, they, I can go through them kind of quick because there's not as many. Um, but I think there's more to find than there are dimes. That's why I'm kind of doing quarters. Uh, some people have luck with quarters. Some people don't. So let me know your thoughts. Should I keep searching and show you the highlights? Let me know. Leave a comment. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. And I'm trying to do more coins for you coin lovers out there. I know I have, uh, you know, I know my, my analytics, um, you know, about 10% of you like to watch the coin videos. So you know, I'll keep doing them. I got some more penny boxes in the back. I got to search through, so look out for that. Might do another nickel box here soon. And we'll do more quarters if you want to. So leave that comment, hit that like button. And once again, Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.